Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with the Sun Off or S on Off as you wish TH16 I will leave a link down below so that we can monitor the water temperature that we have on our water heater the one that I've got is a solar and if you guys have missed the video just, I will try to leave a link down below if I forget then just search around by solar and you will find it now one thing that I would like to mention before we begin is that uh, with this particular model we can do two things one of which is to monitor the temperature that we are going to do today and the other one is that we can actually connect this device to the water heater element and we can control we can turn it on off and we can schedule to turn on or off at certain times or at a certain temperature as long as we have the probe installed so that being said let's go for it okay guys so before i installed the sun off right over here just a quick explanation for those of you that already saw the installation of my solar panel for uh, water heating then you know what it is right over here but very quickly i've got this circuit breaker right over here this is the main one which will control these two uh, this one just controls the um, thermometer that i've got right over here and this one uh, controls the water heating elements so what i'm going to do today is just to use the sun off for the temperature monitoring uh, so i'm going to feed power from this circuit breaker right over here but in the future if i want to use it and i will if i want to use uh, to turn on the water heating element what i'm going to do is that i'm going to bring power from this one right over here to feed the sun off and then the sun off directly to the water heating element so that uh, this one is always turned on feeding power to the sun off and then we decide when to turn on the water heating or not but that's for a future video today just concerning about temperatures so let's go for it So this is the following day I couldn't finish everything yesterday I'm going up the roof right now but before just to mention that to switch everything off before we touch anything upstairs so that we don't have any issues
Okay guys, so the connection is made. One of the issues that I'm having right now, besides the dog that it's barking, <laughs> is that the probe is a bit thick. So I've got two probes at this one, actually three, but here just two. And one of the things that I want to determine is if they are giving the same results. So that if I have one number uh, downstairs, I have the same number on my mobile phone. That's the first objective because I want to do several tests and I will share that in future videos. But for now, what I'm going to do is I don't have anyone at home, so I will need to go downstairs and switch everything on to see if everything is working as expected. Okay guys, so just turn it on and something is not right. It's actually stating that I've got 85 degrees Celsius, which would be great, but it's impossible at this time. And just looking at this probe that I've got right over here, uh, we can see that we have roughly 33 and a half degrees Celsius. So something is wrong. And Okay, guys, so the issue that I was having is that I was trying to put the two probes on the same hole and by some reason the two very, very tight uh, were giving me a error. Probably it was touching a more sensitive area of the probe and was making it jump to crazy values. Once I did remove the two and then just inserted one probe at a time, then the values were correct. So I did made a few tests right over here with uh, three probes that are and basically that is it for this video guys hopefully this will help you to decide if you want to uh, use a son of device to check out the temperature of one of these devices or any other uh, water heating element mine as you can see it's on the top of the roof but if you've got one uh, on your kitchen or something like that you can do the same system as well you can do for a lot of things so be creative and use them hopefully it's useful on one of the next videos what I'm going to do is besides monitoring the temperature I'm also also going to do the option of switching on and off the eater element which is really important if you want to get out of the work and just say okay it's not enough so I'm going to turn it on and in one hour I will have hot water and things like that so hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one